Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back with Horse Haven World Adventures. So, I'm gonna get all of my coins collected. And then I need to sell a little bit of the stuff that I've collected because I want to try and breed some new horses in my German ranch. So, I'm just gonna put some honey in there to start. I'm gonna harvest these apple trees as well. I currently don't have enough stables in my French ranch to actually move this foal that I have in here. I've got a Canadian foal and I can't move it because I don't have the space. There's nowhere to put it. So I'm gonna have to just wait until I actually can get enough diamonds saved up to actually move it somewhere. So I'm just gonna put some more of these in here. Okay, some of the honey crunch and some of the carrot muffins and also carrot pie as well. So I need to like get as much sold out of all the stuff that I've stocked up. I think I've nearly got enough to use because I want to try and breed a new legendary horse. So we're gonna go to Fantasy Ranch as well, Fantasy Island. I've kind of just been using this ranch to actually keep horses in. I haven't really done a lot with this particular ranch. I did recently upgrade the waterfall so that it can uh, produce more than before. At the moment I need another 200 to upgrade it again, so right now I can't do that. So I'm just going to collect all of this. So I have a couple of fantasy horses in here, um, and then I have a couple of other ones. I've got the sun that, unicorn that I still can't. I don't think I can move that one into my ranch right now. No, and I don't think I have space in here either. Let me have a look. So this is like the extra barns here. I love the ones for the Fantasy Island. I think they're really super cute, but I don't think I have any extra space in here. So, oh wait, I do. I actually have three spaces in here. I didn't realize I had three spaces. So I could actually move one of them in here. I think I'll do that then. I didn't realize I actually had still had some space in there because I've been trying to free some of horses that I don't need anymore. Well, to sell them basically, so. Uh, I'm just going to put in some more plants here to grow, and the trees, the flowers. Okay, now hold on, I didn't want to do that just yet. Right, I'm going to move one of my horses that are here in the stalls, and I'm going to move them into there. So, let me just put those into grow just first. I really need to move these, they're actually really hard to click on, and it means I end up clicking the wrong thing. Okay, so, I want to move some in here, so we're going to do that, so I can actually collect my sunlit unicorn foal. So the question is which one I'm going to move. I think I'll move her in here. So let's transfer her. And now we have a stable free to move our foal. Okay, so let's move this foal into its new stable. Okay, so that foal is now in its new stable. It's pretty happy there. That's all we kind of wanted. I need to clean this paddock as well. This paddock is really messy. But at least it gives us some some coins and also it might give us some diamonds. There we go, we got some diamonds from that. Right, so we've finished everything that we needed to do here. So we've USA Ranch we haven't been to yet, so we'll go to our US Ranch here and actually check our dailies as well because we need to see what dailies we have. So what dailies have we got? So it would load. There we go. So daily quests. Uh, give three treasure boxes from the horse racing, claim rewards and lucky guests twice, harvest 12 soybeans, 800 in the Russian steeple chase, buy a horse in the Vidyovo ranch. I don't think I can do this particular one because all of the horses that are for sale right now in the Duvo ranch are for, ge are for diamonds, not gems, and I don't have enough. I've also got to visit two friends ranches and also sell eight forage, so this might give us the soybeans. Yep, yeah, okay, so we've completed that quest, that's good. So we'll just collect all of those while I'm on it. And I'll put some more in here. We'll put in oats to grow, because I feel like oats are like one of those crops in this game that you use for a lot of items for crafting. Like a lot of the feeds require them, a lot of the baked items in the French ranch require them. So I feel like it's a good item to have a lot of. I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of the other ones you do need as well, but that's one that I find that I need a lot of quite frequently. So, let's take all those. Okay, so 
One other thing I want to do, and I think I'll go back to Fantasy Island Ranch to do that, is I want to make, now that I know that I have some spaces, I want to actually... Oh, no, okay, close that, we don't really need that right now. So I have a foal here, and then I bred, and it is a tier for Welsh, and it's the first tier for Welsh that I've had. So I really want to move that horse into one of the stables here, but unfortunately I don't have any space, so what I want to do is I basically want to move one of these horses over to Fantasy Island so I actually can have space because uh, my like my barn up here, this one is, to this barn is totally full, so like if I click here you can see the barn here is completely full, there's no spaces in this barn. Um, it's been full for a really long time actually and I can't um, upgrade it because I don't have 600 or sorry, diamonds, so we're going to quickly go back to Fantasy Island and we're going to make space so I can actually move this horse because I've been trying to breed this tier 4 Welsh for a really really long time and I finally got it a few days ago and I've been super happy but I haven't been able to actually start training it so we're going to move one of these ones into there so here's the stables okay so we want to move one in here no, I think we will move this one. Okay, so let's transfer that over. So now I want to go back over to my USA, USA ranch and actually move that horse then over. I don't know which one I think I will move. I might move one of these two, possibly. Because uh, these ones these ones are pairs, so I want to kind of keep them there. Uh, so here, we'll move that over. So we will transfer, let's tra transfer charm over here because we don't need to do anything with charm right now so that horse is now on the train and it can move on over to that ranch. So now we can actually put our new Welsh foal in here. So here we go. Okay so we want to move this one in here. Okay so our foal is now in its new stable. I'm going to give it something to eat really quickly so I think we it wants or is it no it just wants just needs a new bed so let's give it a new bed. There we go. So this is our first tier four Welsh. Uh, it's taken me so many attempts to get this one so I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, I'm looking forward to whenever it's like fully trained. I'm actually gonna put it in for some training now so let's start some training with that one. So it's in there. I'm not can we can get that started. So, the next thing, actually, before we go, no, actually, I'm not gonna breed, I'm not gonna try and breed another tier for Welsh because I probably won't get it right now. Um, and I still wanna breed some more legendaries. So let's focus on that. So I'm gonna go into my UK ranch because all my, I try to keep all of like my best horses sort of in the German ranch um, because that's where I have like most of my uh, rarer horses. So in here in the UK ranch, I've got some thoroughbreds and I've actually been trying to breed some tier twos. Now this is just a tier one so this one I'm going to free. So we're just going to sell that one. So we're going to try breeding this one again. So I have one of my thoroughbreds. I have my thoroughbred mare here in the stables and then in the barn I have the other one. So let's breed that. Okay just normal for that. Okay so let's see. Come on. Give us the tier two, please. We need another tier two. Oh no, okay. Another tier one. I'm glad I didn't use the double item on that because that would have been annoying. Right, okay. So, fortunately, we haven't got it this time. I have to try again, so I need to harvest my, what do you call, lettuces and my turnips here. I'm going to put in some strawberries. Another turnip and then some lettuce. Okay. Then just clean up this ranch as well before we do anything else. So we're finished with the English Ranch now. There's nothing more I really want to do in here. I am going to just put my Tier 2 English Thoroughbred full into train a little bit. So, there we go. So I'm going to go to my French Ranch now because I want to see if there's anything else I need to do in there. I think I still need to like, clean up the paddock and that in this ranch. I don't think I've actually done very much. Okay. Oh no, I have actually cleaned this paddock. Did we do that at the start? Okay, yeah, we did do that at the start. I totally forgot about that. Okay, we'll collect that little bit of money. What I need to do now is go to the German ranch. And this is where I'm going to show you guys my first legendary horse. So I managed to get my first legendary horse. 
and it was the one that I bred out of my first myth, uh, myth that course. So in here is actually where my first one is. So let's go in here and I'll show you him. And I've been training him a lot. <laughs> um, so he's in here and this is him here. And he's level 15 now. Um, he has, this is my best horse right now. So he has um, the best speed and jump as far as I know. He's got the best ones for that. So his speed is increased by 140% and then his jump is increased by 70%. And then we've got um, his stamina is on 90%. So I need to get a better stamina rating on him. I also need to do the same. He's got the Sun Strider, which helps him in sunny steeple races, and he's also got the snowy single chase boost. So I'm slowly working on that and uh, trying to get him better and better. Um, he's taken a lot of time. I've spent a lot of time on this horse. So this is like going to be my steeple chase horse. It's the horse that I'm going to enter in all the events and things like that. He's done pretty good for me. He's got me a couple of like the uh, first place chess and things in events. So I'm super happy with him. And he was the first legendary horse that I've bred the entire game. And it's taken a really super long time to train him up because I'm just training him like every day. So then these are like all of the like ones that I bred that either weren't legendary. I actually now I do have a couple of legendaries in here, but um, that one that I just showed you was the first legendary that I'd actually managed to get. So I'm gonna collect stuff from my mines as well. Okay, and I wanna put in that one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and see if we can use our little items at the minute um, to breed to um, legendaries. So these were my mythics. These were the best ones that I had at the time. These were the Isabella Derby's tier 2. So what we want to do, now these are some of my newer um, tier 3, so these are the legendary ones, but as you can see they're not as good as the one that I have in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, actually no, we're not use, we'll not use him, but we'll use two of these ones. So we're going to use these to get some more. So this is the idea. So hopefully I have enough. So do you want the twin breeding? You can get twin foals of different genders with 50 twin points this time. So we're going to use this because we've got enough. We have 58 and we just need 50. So now we'll be able to get twin ones. Now they're all the exact same tiers because this is the highest tier that this horse can be. So it's not going to matter which it lands on. So there we go. We've bred a legendary and we've got twin legendary foals. So they're not going to be ready for a super long time, but we've got two, and that's super good because I'm trying to train as many of these as I can to max. So I've been working on all of my tier twos, and they're slowly getting up to level 15, as you can see. So I'm super happy about that. But it took such a long time. Oh, our Starlord is full. It took such a long time to get a legendary because I started this game well over a year ago. So it's it's taken me a while. Although I didn't really know what I was doing at the very start, so. Okay, storage is full, so we need to like sell some stuff. Um, we could sell a little bit of that. I think that would probably give us enough space, I think, to collect this stuff. So, and then the other thing is like trying to breed like legendary or myth mythic horses and stuff, it's expensive, so it's not something you can do all the time. So, I think this event where it'll give you twins is really, really good in that regard because you can actually get more from it. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick look here at the rest of the dailies that I have. Not all of them I can do, unfortunately, but there are some of them there that I should be able to do. So sell it forage. I'm pretty sure we can do that. If I have some forage in here, I do. Okay, there we go. I think that was, yeah, that was the right one. So yeah, that is my progress so far in Horse Haven World Adventures. So there's also the races going on at the moment. Um, let's actually do a, we do a race before we finish this so we're gonna bring my best one right now and thankfully the weather adoption should help so let's see if we can actually do this race <laughs> sometimes the races go really well and other times there's just horses that are much much better so let's see how we do these look like reasonably fancy horses and I completely missed the thing that I was supposed to press so I didn't get a good start so so far, it looks like we might actually do okay in this race. This is looking like it might be easy enough to win, which is good, because usually I was so used to like losing in all of these races 
So we got first place. That's good. So this is, like, it took a lot of effort to get this horse as good as it is. And a lot of time. Because you have to run steeplechase after steeplechase. And you have to get to a certain amount, um, like a certain distance, to get the upgrades to your horse. So, there we go. We got our treasure box. And we can claim that in a couple of hours. So, anyways, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day. And bye-bye.